guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Again, I'm staying on trend with trying to make 2021 better than 2020. So today's video is all about five habits you can create in 2021 that will change your life. If that sounds good to you, then keep on watching. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that to be entered into the giveaway that I'm holding for Vlogmas, you have to like and comment on every single video that I have from the 1st until the 25th and you have to be subscribed to the channel so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do so now and make sure that you go back and watch all the videos and leave a comment on every single one so that you can be entered in the giveaway so let's hop into the first habit you can create that will change your life in 2021 first is focus on your curiosity this is life-changing you guys you know for the longest time I wanted to be a singer and I focused on the fact that I wasn't one, that I couldn't be one, that I let time pass by without really um, going after that dream. And that's all I focused on. And then one day I was reading Twilight and I got inspired and thought, I think I can write a book. And that curiosity of I think I can write a book without any attachment whatsoever without trying to feel fill a hole in my life or without just trying to get somewhere led me to where I am today where I've published five books I have a YouTube channel I have a consulting business I am just a completely different person than I was you know eight years ago my life has totally changed because I followed my curiosity at that time all I wanted to do was write and not because I had an end goal in mind. I wasn't trying to become a New York Times bestseller. I wasn't trying to make money off of it. I wasn't even trying to get published. I was just in love with the idea of writing and that's what I started doing and I love it and I want to encourage you to approach your life in that way going forward. If you are stuck in that feeling of I need to find my calling or I don't know what to do with my life and I feel so lost and I feel so confused I encourage you to put all those thoughts to rest and instead focus what are you curious about like my daughter she is curious about cooking it's been like a nagging thought in her mind she was gonna go to Johnson and Wales back when she first graduated high school she was going to major in hospitality and so many things happened that deviated her from that goal or that dream that she had but in the end she still has this calling present curiosity for cooking and it may not lead to anything she may not be a chef she may not open a restaurant she may not open a, a, a you know a b and b but she's having fun in the moment cooking and coming up with different recipes and is it that's what it's all about it's about following your curiosity at every moment while you are in that moment of following your curiosity and following the things that make you happy before you know it you will find your quote unquote calling but I want to say one thing about your calling. I believe that your calling is calling you at every moment if you listen. If you could just sit for a moment and listen to your curiosity, listen to the things that you want to do at any given moment, if it's something that's for your higher self, for your highest good, something that is coming out of you know, inspiration and love and it's not hurting you or anyone else, I believe that is exactly what you need to do in that time because your calling could change from year to year. Your calling could change from, you know, what you want today may not be what you want 10 years from now. So don't get hung up in the calling and having to find yourself. Find yourself in the moment you are right now. So I believe if you follow your curiosity and you go with it, it will transform your life like you can't even imagine. The second habit that I encourage you to take on this coming up year is try doing 30 day challenges. Um, this is not only good for you to develop a discipline when, it, when you want to accomplish something. For instance, let's say you want to develop the habit of going for a walk every morning. Well, start off with a 30 day challenge. Go for a walk every day. 
for 30 days without stopping. If you stop, start over. Believe it or not, it will create a habit in you after the 21 days. But furthermore, you'll discover if that's something really that you want to do. Because when you stop doing it, you might miss it or you might be like, I didn't like it, I'm not gonna do it. But at the end of the day, it's all about discipline. It's all about promises you keep to yourself. You say you're gonna do something and you follow through. That changes something in your brain. It changes something in your body, your mind, and the way you view yourself. When you say to yourself, I'm gonna try something for 30 days and you do it, at the end, you are a changed person. Trust me when I tell you this, that you are not the same from when you, if you break a promise to yourself and if you keep a promise to yourself. Not only that, but you get to experience maybe things that you haven't done before. Maybe you want to take on a cooking class and you decide, I'm gonna cook a new recipe every day for 30 days, or I am going to, you know, clean something out of my house every day for 30 days to declutter my, my entire home. Maybe you have a really cluttered home and you decide every day I'm going to declutter a space, whether it's a drawer, whether it's a cabinet, or whether it's your bookshelf. Doing something for 30 days straight will change your life. Number three is to start creating a habit of looking out for proof that what you want is showing up in your life. We spend so much of our time thinking about the absence of that which we want that we could be missing out on you know, how close we're getting to that dream or desire of ours because we're so busy looking in the absence of it. So start switching your mind around. Instead of focusing on lack and absence, start looking out, make it a game. Get excited about looking out for you know, the possibility of your dreams showing up. And before you know it, you will start seeing, oh wow, that's a sign, that's a sign. Look, I'm getting closer to my goal, it's materializing. And the more you notice those things, the sooner your dream will materialize. Number four is to create a habit that lifts your spirits. This is so important, you guys. Um, First, you have to determine what makes you happy. If it's watching Netflix for an hour a day, then do that. You have to look at 2021 in a new way. You have to start looking at life in a way that brings you joy at every turn. The more joy you bring into your life, the more joy you will see in the world. So create a habit that lifts your spirits. Is it going for a morning walk, even if it's only 10 minutes? Is it reading a book? Is it meditating? Whatever it is, create a habit that you are constantly looking for to lift your spirits. Whatever it is, is it, you know, listening to a brand new album from a new artist that you've never heard before? Is it looking out for a new artist that you've never heard before? Is it music? Whatever it is, make sure that you're actively seeking for ways to lift your spirits. The happier you are, the more content you are, the better your life will be. And the fifth habit that I think you should create in 2021 is to pay attention to your environment. Your environment should probably mimic your curiosity. It may change and that's fine. For the longest time I wanted, I was obsessed with having plants in my house. And because it's been a little difficult here in Georgia for me to keep plants because it gets cold. It's so cold all the time. I kind of have not kept it up as much as I want to, but for the time being, when I was like really into plants, I kept going to Home Depot and I kept surrounding myself with plants in my home. It made me happy. It, it just gave me this feeling of contentment. Now, why not do that? What if you want to travel to Europe? Well, how about you print out a bunch of pictures and you put them in your office or you put them around your house to just lift your spirits. Be aware of your environment is the habit I want you to pay attention to in 2021. What about the people that you're surrounding yourself with? Are they making you happy? Are they bringing you joy or sadness? If so, if they are bringing you happiness, then keep doing what you're doing. And if they're not, maybe there needs to be a conversation 
um, with them to see if things can change. The whole point of this habit is to create an environment that brings you joy, that supports that curiosity that we started with. So if you are starting to, let's say you're just starting to be a writer like me when I first started, well, maybe I will get me things that support that dream of mine. What I imagine writers to be like, what I imagine my writing life to feel like and look like, and what I want to experience as a writer, as I mentioned in my last video, is all about what you want to experience and what you want to feel. If you have not watched that video, make sure you go back and watch it because I give you some tips on how you can make 2021 even better. All right, you guys, this week's question is do you have a habit that you've created that has changed your entire life? If so, leave it in the comments below. As you know, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, in order to be entered in the giveaway, you have to like and comment and be subscribed to the channel in order to win. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back tomorrow. I will be here with a brand new video for Vlogmas and I'll see you then. Until then, stay safe.